Hey, what's up guys? It's Alpha Scale and I'm back with another review video and today we'll be looking at the Sideshow exclusive Star Wars Shadow Trooper figure. That's MMS 271 and um, I'm super excited to have this figure in my collection. This is the uh, most recent uh, Star Wars uh, figure put out by Hot Toys and it's definitely an exclusive piece. Um, only a Limited amount were uh, distributed by Sideshow in North America. I believe 300 uh, if I'm correct But anyways, uh, it's definitely an exclusive. It's already sold out on Sideshow if you want one You got to go on the wait list. So I'm pretty glad I got this bad boy um, I picked him up from uh, a seller on Kijiji. I got an amazing deal on this figure I'm not gonna disclose how much I got don't want to make anyone jealous but I got a great deal. I saved a whole ton of money, saved a lot of money. So, uh, pretty happy about that. So, oh, and one more thing. I just want to give a big shout out to Daniel Mazza, a good friend of mine in the community, a collector of 1-6 figures. He uh, showed me the ad on Kijiji, so I jumped on it right away because he knows I'm a big Star Wars fan. So, yeah, so anyways, um, We'll be looking at the figure, the accessories, uh, I'll just give you a quick uh, run through of the box and all that good stuff. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you don't have this figure, go get it. If you're a Star Wars fan, go get it. Um, if you're on the fence, I hope this review convinces you to get it and you won't regret it. So anyways, let's go. It is review time. All right, guys, so here we have the box. So I'll just do a quick run through, won't take too long. So we got the Sideshow exclusive sticker at the top right hand corner. We got a picture of the figure, um, kind of like a silhouette of the figure. Um, the Star Wars movie logo, of course, and uh, your MMS 271 Shadow Trooper, once a scale collectible figure. It's a movie masterpiece, of course, made by Hot Toys. And it's your um, typical, um, Side uh, Hot Toys uh, box. Uh, the size is average, um, average size of a Hot Toy box that you would find with most figures. Um, of course, it's uh, Disney. Disney uh, owns the franchise now. Um, the other side is uh, pretty much the same. It's got the gray and black uh, color scheme going on there, and it's kind of like a shoebox uh, design um, packaging. So, um, yep, um, and at the back we've got this, uh, some of the um, fine print at the back, uh, just a warning label, um, company information, um, we've got the uh, Hot Toys Presents Movie Masterpiece Series, uh, MMS 271 Shadow Trooper by Hot Toys. So yeah, that's the uh, outside of the box. Oh, and at the top, I forgot, um, it's just a Star Wars movie logo. And I'm pretty sure the bottom is the same. So yeah, we got the Star Wars movie logo as well. And uh, that's the outside of the box. All right, guys, so here uh, you see I took the cover off and we have the um, this uh, flap covering the figure. Um, the clamshell container on the inside so you can just uh, take this off and uh, this is pretty cool you got like half the uh, face of the shadow trooper and the other half is just a uh, solid gray um, with uh, the label with the logo right there the label the shadow trooper label um, I'll take this off to show you what's on the inside and uh, on the inside we have uh, the figure in its um, coffin and its plastic coffin so we got the accessories and the figure and the base and all that stuff so let's take a look at the figure enough of this boxing nonsense let's go all right guys so here we have the figure out posed up accessories laid out um, he's not heavily accessorized uh, I got a few accessories on his uh, body I put them on so um, yeah, it's just the hand, uh, the interchangeable hands that you see on the floor and the ankle or the wrist peg, sorry. Wow. Wrist peg, uh, you've got the uh, instruction uh, little booklet right there. 
Um, he's got seven interchangeable hands, so uh, a couple closed fists, um, some relaxed palms, uh, one uh, gesture hand. Um, the wrist pegs are here. And in the pouch, in the little bag, he's got some silver buttons here. And those are just replacement uh, beads or buttons for the um, cartridge pouch on uh, each side of the trooper so I um, I put these on um, they came uh, separately in the in the in the packaging so I had to put them on um, yeah so let's just look at the figure uh, he's got his blaster uh, rifle here of course um, I just think it's so awesome man just a crazy figure um, the articulation is great. It's nice and firm, just like a Hot Toys body, uh, nice and tight. Definitely uh, better than any Sideshow clone, uh, clone trooper. I mean, those are great, but I just find the joints are a bit looser and um, it's not as plush. Um, the, the uniform, the outfit's not as tight fit in and sleek as this Hot Toy figure. So definitely a big improvement. Um, yeah, the helmet is uh, your basic uh, Stormtrooper design helmet, except it's all black, so that's for really the obvious. Um, he's got some weathering on his armor if you look closely. Uh, I know it's um, his armor is all shiny, so it might be hard to see uh, some of the weathering, but um, he has a fair amount of uh, weathering like um, on the edges of the the leg um, armor and um, just uh, right here on the front of the shin and just in various spots like uh, he's got some weathering right here on the chest uh, the top of his head you can't see it because of the lights but um, it's there so great job on uh, the weathering not too much not too little just right um, he's wearing a black undersuit uh, suit underneath the armor, so it's like a black bodysuit. Um, and he's got his um, shoulder pad here. It's like a leather feel. I'm not sure if it's leather, but he's got his uh, shoulder pad here. I'm going to turn the figure around to show you the, uh, the back of the figure. Um, so you have a better, uh, better view. Uh, all right, guys, so this is the figure from the back. Um, yeah, the details are great. Um, he's got his little uh, detachable uh, pauldron right here. So it's right here. It's got a couple hooks um, attached to it. So that you, you just put the hooks in the belt, in the utility belt, and um, that's how it sticks onto the figure. So let me put that down right there. Um, he's got his uh, black leather uh, rifle holster. Um, great detail. Um, wonderfully made. Definitely a great job by Hot Toys there. Um, so yeah, these are the, the back of his legs. Um, I'm definitely digging these new Star Wars uh, stands. These uh, base and the stands that they're using for these uh, Star Wars figures. And what's pretty cool about this is you can uh, detach the, um, the nameplate so you could take it off and put it back on. So that's pretty cool. So if you uh, don't want to have this on the stand, you just want to display the base like that, you can, which is pretty cool. It gives you a different look for whatever pose you're trying to do. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the figure, guys. So... Um, if you don't have this uh, bad boy and you're a Star Wars fan, shame on you for not having him. He's a great figure. I highly recommend you go out and cop this bad boy. If you're on the fence, I hope this review convinced you. It's definitely an exclusive. So uh, if you do have one, you're an exclusive company. And yeah, man. Definitely digging this bad boy. I'm getting the Stormtroopers. Uh... Probably in a couple weeks, maybe hopefully next week. Um, my guy uh, from Toys 2, Eric, is um, bringing them in. So when he does, I'll be uh, picking them up and reviewing them. 
So I hope you guys enjoy the review. Until then, keep collecting, keep the peace, and I'm out of here.